Hello everybody. In this video, <clears throat> I'll be showing you guys how to make a Radio Shack store in Minecraft. Um, uh, now this is a this is one based off of one in real life. Uh, I know it may not look like it, but uh, it's it's actually it's actually one of the first buildings you see if you look up uh, like Radio Shack building. This was like one of the first ones I saw. I think it was actually the first one I saw, uh, and I was just like, you know what? I figured I'd make it off of that. So. So yeah, just a small little store. Unfortunately, they went out of business. I think it was 2015 they went out of business or something like that. Um, or, yeah, yeah, it was 2015, I believe, that they went out. And I will also show you guys how to make the inside just because this building's so small and easy. Um, so this will all be one tutorial. So definitely um, definitely stay tuned for the interior because I will be showing you guys how to do that in this video. But without any further ado, let's get into this. So. Um, before we grab materials though, uh, we're going to need to grab, you're going to need to make a 9, 29 by 16 block area on the ground wherever you're making your radio shack, so be sure to make that grid um, in your world. Um, and then for materials, let me just go ahead and put these away. Uh, you're going to need light gray concrete, gray concrete, oak leaves, smooth stone, white concrete, yellow wool, jungle planks, jungle stairs, and black stained glass pane. Um, you're also going to need acacia door. Uh, I would recommend acacia, but you can grab any door you want. Uh, lantern, black stained glass block, uh, black stone, polished black stone slab, red concrete, and black concrete. So make sure you grab uh, all of that. Um, that's just for the outside. The inside we'll grab uh, later on. But anyways, let's get into this. So first things first, we're actually going to go ahead and take our oak leaves. Uh, or again, you can actually, well I don't think I mentioned this, uh, you can actually go ahead and uh, just use any leaves you want, you don't have to use just oak, but definitely provide some sort of border around the building. Uh, well, actually, I mean, you don't, ha I guess you don't have to put this here if you don't want to, especially if you're trying to, you know, maybe if you were to try to like, I guess, connect this to like a shop or something, you know, maybe you might not want to do that, but if you want it by itself, you know, I definitely recommend it, kind of, I don't know, it just looks right, you know, kind of having some leaves there. Um, either that or it was in uh, the real life image, I'm not sure, but uh, anyways, once you've done that, uh, you want to go ahead and do one, two, three, four, wait, no, it's five, right? Yeah, it's five. Yeah, so then you want to do uh, five rows, let me make sure that's five, yes, okay. Uh, you want to have five rows of light gray concrete connecting to each other at the front here, just like so. And you want to dig this out all the way until it reaches the grid here. So you want to also dig out the front of the grid as well. Just make sure. So I guess that's te technically six rows if you're including the the line for the grid. But unless I know, no, actually that's five. Yeah, no, never mind. It's still five. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know why I didn't know that. Uh, and then you want to leave a gap of four on each side here, I believe. Right? Was it four? Yeah, four. So. Let me make sure for, yep, all right, leave a gap of four, uh, and then just go ahead and put some leaves in the middle there. That separates the exit and entrance for the parking lot. Speaking of the parking lot, you want to take your white uh, white concrete, and on both sides, you want to have, you want to dig out eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me make sure that's eight. I don't know if I counted that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, there we go. Yeah, you want to have eight white concrete going up, uh, like towards the back of the building, but it wants to be dug into the ground like this. So dig into the ground, replace with white concrete. Uh, you want to leave a gap of three, or you can do uh, three yellow wool from the top of the white concrete going towards the middle on both sides, just like that. Uh, and then you just want to put a row of white concrete. You don't have to count for this one because it's literally just the same size as the other ones. All right, and then that's going to be your, your two spaces. I know, it's a very small parking lot. There's literally only two parking spaces. That's going to be a problem, I think. <laughs> Um, I mean, you could always build a parking garage or something, but, you know, I've definitely put this near some good amount of parking spaces, I guess, <laughs> so, you know, you know, people fighting over the two parking spots, that would probably just be the employees parking here anyway, so, um, but anyways, yeah, and then uh, you can go ahead and uh, dig out and fill in the spaces with gray concrete, uh, and that's actually going to be the parking lot complete, believe it or not, I've never, I don't think, this is probably the quickest I've ever done a parking lot, just because, you know, this parking lot is literally the. T this is probably. I think this is actually the smallest parking lot I've ever made. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, this is definitely by far the smallest one. I don't know if I'll ever make one any smaller than this. <laughs> uh, but maybe we'll see. So far, this is the record for the smallest one. Uh, and then you want to go ahead and do a row of smooth stone just at the back of the spaces here. Uh, well, I guess not at the back of the spaces, but more like you know, kind of like ahead of them, like this. If that makes any sense. All right. So now what we can do is we're going to start making the building. So 
Uh, so from where we have this first, like, so just behind this first, like, smooth stone here, you want to do two planks. And then I believe it's, yeah, three upside down jungle stairs. Uh, and I would highly recommend putting the smooth stone underneath that. So you want to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, just go ahead and get the stairs taken care of just so you can do the, like, the smooth stone part underneath them. Alright, and then you want to have um, jungle planks on the ends, just like that. And then you want to extend the jungle planks up by two. I think it's on, yeah, for all of them. Yeah, so all the jungle planks, not the jungle uh, stairs, but the jungle planks you want to extend up by two. So, uh, but on top of the stairs you want to put two rows of black stained glass pane. Alright, oops, let me make sure, there we go. Alright, uh, as for the middle, uh, we'll worry about that later, because that's going to be for the... And then literally everything else, you literally just, um, for the wall, for the side walls and the back wall, you literally just want to trace along the leaves here. Or I guess trace along, like, the outside of the grid if you didn't put leaves. Um, and then literally just extend the walls up by two more. It's literally so simple. Like I said, this building is so easy to make. We're only six minutes into this tutorial and we're almost done with the outside of the building. Like, it's, it's actually so easy, so, um... But yeah, like literally now all we got to do, uh, well we should probably, uh, actually no, never mind. I was going to say we should probably add another row, but then I realized there's actually gray on there. So speaking of which, uh, you want to go ahead and put three rows, I believe. Let me make sure I'm right. I don't want to make any mistakes. Three rows of gray, but it wants to extend out the front. You guys can kind of see it kind of extends out, extends out the front by one, but everywhere else it's the same. If you look over here, and that's a church, that will be a future tutorial. All right. So, uh, the way, the easiest way to do this is to just go ahead and trace along the top of the building here with light gray, uh, but extend it out the front. So just kind of come out by one like this, but I would still, you know, could finish tracing this. It just makes things easier. Uh, and then, yeah, just extend this out by one, and then you want to extend this up, I believe it's by two. Yes, so by two. So, uh, you want to extend this gray up by two, um, and then, you know, once we grab new materials, we'll go ahead and fill up the roof with the... Um, what is it? The uh, blackstone slab, and then we'll make the signs, and then we'll do the inside. It's literally so simple. We're not even 10 minutes in this video already. We're almost done with the building. That's how quick and easy it is. That's why I'm doing the interior tutorial in this video. Um, let me make sure that's right. I don't know. Something just doesn't feel right. Nope. Okay. It's just my vision being weird. I don't know. Some. It just looked uneven for some reason. All right. So now, uh, go ahead and grab the rest of your materials. So that would be the uh, the door, the lantern, the black stained glass block, polished blackstone slab, and then red and black concrete. Uh, so go ahead and just uh, at the front here, put the two doors in the middle with the black stained glass up top, and then the lanterns on the sides like this. All right, and then just go ahead and um, put the blackstone slab all above the uh, um, what is this? The uh, light gray, con <clears throat> light light gray concrete. Sorry, guys. I don't know why my voice is always uh, dying in these tutorials. It's like my voice does not like these tutorials at all. Um, and then simply fill this up. This may be a little bit tricky just because it's slab, um, but um, it just I don't know. It's just the slab. Uh, it's what it was on top of the original building. I remember it had like a black like roof on it, so that's why I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, definitely, I think this looks really good, and it doesn't take very long to, to fill in. See, we're literally only 8 minutes into this video, and we're almost to the interior. I, I feel like we might get to the interior before 10 minutes, but we'll see. Alright, so next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make the Radio Shack logo. So the way you want to do this, you want to come to the front of the building, you want to come to the left side, you want to leave a gap, uh, sorry, leave a gap of one, you want to come to, you want to be at the very bottom row, so like this very bottom light gray concrete, gap of one from the side, two red, extend up by one, uh, and then you basically want to do rows of black concrete going towards the right, but you want to spell out R A I D R, or sorry, no, I cannot spell R I D I O, or R. Oh my gosh, R A D I O raid E O, and then S H A C K. If you did it right, you should have a gap of one at the end. Um, wow, I should probably retake um, kindergarten. <laughs> I cannot seem to spell. Um, and I believe, yes, so it's a gap of one from the back. Uh, so again, the very bottom row, you want to leave a gap of one from the back. And then, you know, two red, extend up, and then uh, spell out Radio Shack. You should just have a gap of two from the front, just like that. All right, and uh, you don't have to put one on the back. Uh, I'm not going to because, you know, you don't have to, but... And then again, leave a gap of one. Or actually, no, from so for the right side, I would actually just start from the front. So leave a gap of two from the front. 
two red and then spell out Radio Shack should have a gap of one from the back and boom wow 10 minutes all right I think uh, yeah once you got yeah so once you got those signs done um, I think I did do one for the back no I didn't okay I thought I did yeah you don't you can do one for the back um, but I, I don't know I don't personally recommend it well I mean I guess you could if you wanted to but you know I, I'm not going to like I said but yeah just make sure it's on the very bottom row like that um, but, yeah, once you've done that, um, yeah, it's actually, uh, well, we should probably do the banner signs first before we actually, just so we completely finish the outside of Radio Shack. It just makes sense, you know. So, go ahead. Uh, I have left a banner letter tutorial in the description box. Uh, so, for any of you that do not know how to make banner letters, uh, there's a tutorial for you guys. So, follow that tutorial make the necessary letters you need with the necessary colors. Uh, and then once you've met all that, you can come back and then we can put the signs on. So, literally, the sign literally just goes across the black uh, so you just spell out ray d o radio make sure I spelled that right <laughs> and then you just spell out shack s h a c k there we go and then you just do the same thing for all these other ones so r a d i o uh, shack. Uh, and also by the way you don't have to put the signs on the sides if you don't want to especially if you're like trying to connect it to like a mall or something um, you don't have to put the signs on the sides, but that, that's just how it was on the uh, building I based this off of. There was like signs on the side of it as well, so that's why I did this, but I think this is actually the first time, uh, unless, you know, I'm forgetting about a building that I made where I actually put, like, the sign on the building three times, I think. This is like the first time I've done it. I don't know. But yeah, so once you've got the banner signs on, that is actually the outside of Radio Shack complete. Uh, believe it or not, we're only 11 minutes into this tutorial and we're already done with that. But, yeah, so now we can start doing the inside. Um, so, basically, go ahead and grab yourself some gray wool, white concrete, chiseled quartz, sea lantern, um, bookshelves, red concrete, birch sign, uh, and then, uh, I guess, uh, well, we already have red concrete. Uh, I guess go ahead and grab yourself, uh, we'll go ahead and grab red carpet, uh, and then, I guess, um, and go ahead and grab just grab some mangrove buttons. We'll worry about everything else later. But all right, so let me make sure I know what I'm doing. Well, actually, all right. So the first thing, first thing you're literally gonna do, it's very simple. You just dig out the floor and replace with gray wool. Uh, very, very simple. And it's actually not too dark in here because it's a very small building, so there's not like a uh, there's not a lot of darkness. And there's a lot, and there's already a lot of natural light from these windows. And I don't know. It's just a very, it's a very small little store, so, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty well lit, but if you still, but if you, uh, really can't see, obviously you can grab yourself night vision, or you can put some torches down, or whatever, but, um, for me personally, I'm seeing just fine, I don't know why there's these flashes of shadows, I hate that, it's so annoying, um, but yeah, and then just go ahead and fill this up, um, I mean, I guess you guys can do any kind of flooring you want, um, I, I would definitely recommend some sort of, like, wool for carpet, I don't recommend putting like wood or anything so that just doesn't look right. The building's already made of wood, you know, so it just, I don't know. I don't like, you know, the same material for walls and floors. That just, ugh, I don't know. Just The floor has got to be different, you know. I just, I can't do, you know, the same things like that. And then I believe the uh, ceiling is just in line. It's just right above, yeah, it's, it's literally right above the window. So literally right above, so like literally where this light gray concrete is above the windows is where you want to put the, uh, uh, chisel quartz and then you just want to just make a whole shape in the ceiling here or for the ceiling I guess uh, let me make sure I'm not sure if this that's of course not even let me see if you can do nope okay so I guess let's try I'm trying to figure out how I did the roof uh, but of course I'm struggling uh, let me see did I do it like this no okay all right I gotta go check out the uh, the other ceiling I don't know how I laid it out because I'm not very smart <laughs> Oh, okay, so I guess, alright, okay, um, actually, you know what, let's go ahead and do the lights later, because I feel like, because if we do it now, we're going to mess up, and then, you know, for the walls, uh, you'll see, it'll make a lot more sense once we actually uh, get going here, but definitely, uh, just make sure you shape the ceiling, though, make sure you, you just to mark where it's at, basically, uh, but for the interior walls, it's going to be white concrete, so you just want to literally just trace along the, uh, um, now actually you only want to do this on the front and then I think that's, oh, and then you also want to like, um, put some on the sides here as well on the, like on the front here, 
Uh, and then I believe you want to put some in the corners, definitely, these back two corners. And then I'm not sure if there's bookshelves. I think there is. Yeah, there's bookshelves at the back, too. Um, oh, and then uh, make sure uh, you kind of, like, extend the corners out by one on both sides like this, just so you can see them. So you want the corners to be seen, you know, because we're going to have, like, bookshelves and stuff here. Speaking of which, uh, go ahead and fill in these walls with the uh, red concrete and bookshelves. You want the red concrete to be on top because that's, like, for, like, the advertisements and stuff. Well, not advertisements, but, like, it's, like, where they put the... It's, like, where it says, like, you know, what's hot or whatever. Like, the, you know, and, like, if they have a sale or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's where you want to have the... Uh, you want to just fill that up with bookshelves and put the red concrete up top I think that looks really good and then that's pretty much it for the interior walls so I guess uh, yeah so I guess just go ahead and start filling in the roof so the so the ceiling it's it's weird but basically uh, you actually want to go ahead and uh, frame this up again because we put the walls in so now we gotta kinda do this again alright so make another like frame like this if that makes any sense you wanna leave a gap of two so basically where these two uh, white concretes are uh, just beside the door, that's where you want to line up, like, where the, um, like, where, where it, like, divides each set of lights. So we have the first set right here, which is just Sea Lantern, by the way. If you, you can make them working lights, there's enough space up here where you can actually, uh, put redstone, redstone lamps, and have, like, a lever and turn them all on. So if there's, like, so you can, like, turn the, the lights off if, like, the store is closed. Um, but yeah, so that's, you know, that's definitely an idea for you if you want to do that. But I, I don't care to I don't, that's just too much work to put working lights so I just do this I just I don't care to I don't ever care to turn them off anyway so but you guys can do whatever you want with that but yeah now the store is all nice and lit up we can start putting in the decor which we already put in like 90% of it anyway um speaking of which uh go ahead and put uh now this is going to be a bit of a tedious process this is probably the most tedious process of the whole thing I'd say uh you got to put birch signs along this red concrete uh, again this is for like uh, you can actually write stuff in here if you want you can write like what's hot or like different prices or you know different things that are on the shelves like headphones and you know like electronics I've, I've never been to Radio Shack so I don't know what all they I know they sold like electronics and stuff but I've, I've personally never been um, so I don't I don't know what, what else they sell besides like headphones and stuff but and, like speakers but you know, but you know, I'm sure I'm sure some of you, especially some of you that are building, obviously, I'm, I'm sure most of you know what Radio Shack is or have been there, um, so you guys can figure that out for yourself. But um, oh, and then for the counter, uh, the counter is just one block in front of the uh, bookshelves, those back row bookshelves. Um, but it wants to be like so, like we have the bookshelves here, right? Uh, you kind of want to leave, so you want to leave a gap of one from the bookshelves, but you also want to like leave a gap of one. So like you don't want to go all the way over like this. You actually want to leave a gap of one from each of these bookshelves here. Uh, and go ahead and put mangrove buttons in front of them. That just gives it detail. There's really no use for those, but um, I do like it. Um, but yeah, so now, I think that's actually all we can do. Oh, and then the carpet. Um, one, two, three, four. I got like four rows of carpet in front of the door here. So um, just one, two, three, four. Oh, and then also go ahead and fill in uh, the floor underneath the doors as well. Just go ahead and do that because otherwise it's not going to look good. There we go. That looks a lot better. I'm going to leave these open so I can go in and out. But All right. So uh, I guess we can grab... Um, I don't know if this will be the final set. It probably won't, but um, we do need a few more materials here. We need scaffolding. Yeah, this is definitely not going to be the final set. I can already tell. Uh, we need white shulker box. Um, just a white banner with the letter R on it, and then item frames. Uh, weighted pressure plate. We need stone stairs. We need not gray wool. We already did the floor. We don't need that no more. Uh, daylight sensor, uh, birch signs again, um, and then uh, I guess go ahead and grab scaffolding since that's another real important material. Oh, I already have it. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, I guess then grab uh, just wither skulls and skulls then. All right. So um, let me make sure I know what I'm doing before I actually. Uh, okay. So first things first, you want to come to the counter. We're gonna go ahead and finish off the counter. Uh, on the on the right side here, you want to have two. Uh, white shulker boxes with uh, item frames and then like the white banner with the letter R on it. Um, now I did do this one differently um, than what you may be used to. Um, if you can't find it in the t the tutorial um, in the description, um, you know there's other tutorials on YouTube. Um, I'm, I just I don't know. I'm not really gonna show you guys how to do that kind of R in this video. It's actually it's actually pretty simple. Um, but if you follow tutorials, you'll get it. Um, but 
Anyways, uh, you want to leave a gap of one from the, uh, the bags. These are plastic bags, by the way. Uh, you want to have a weighted pressure plate. You want to have a stone stairs with a birch sign behind it. That's meant to be like, you know, shows you the price of, of your items. Then a daylight sensor for a scanner that scans your items and stuff. So, so when you check out, you get your items scanned here. Um, and this is just a keyboard, and then you get, it gets bagged here. Um, owner, the person will type in the price, and then the change will pop up here. So, all right. Or no, the change won't pop up here. The price will pop up here. Uh, the change will be like on the actual computer for the employee to see. But all right. So now um, you want to leave a gap of one, and I'm not sure how wide the scaffolding is supposed to be. I think it's just as wide as the. Yes. Okay. So it's literally just as wide as the counter. So, so yeah. If you just leave a gap of one uh, from the counter, and then you just put a row of scaffolding, and then you have like three on this side. Uh, so three on the left side extending up, but then leave these uh, alone. Uh, and then you're gonna want to be on a block for this and have to crouch, but uh, you're gonna have some skeleton skulls These are uh, meant to be uh, like cameras because I think they also sold cameras here. So uh, That's what those are meant to be um, And then uh, we can just go ahead and just clear all that out I know we're probably gonna need some of those again, but we can always just grab them uh, Go ahead and grab yourself a note block and jukebox um, Go ahead and grab yourself a pillar quartz block mangrove slab oak sign uh, iron trap door all right, uh, and then go ahead and grab yourself uh, like a redstone comparator, redstone repeater, and build, and uh, we'll grab some more stuff later on. Uh, go ahead and put the uh, the comparator, the repeater, and the anvil all in this win in this first window. These are just meant to be display items. Uh, we'll obviously put some more stuff over here. Uh, I of course don't remember where. Oh, actually, first of all, let's go ahead and just put the jukebox and the note blocks there. Those are meant to be just like giant speakers. Um, Okay, so for these shelves, uh, okay, so it's two blocks from the furthest uh, scaffolding. Okay, so if you come to like this, like so, like so, like this edge scaffolding, this very last scaffolding, going towards the front of the store, you want to leave a gap of two, and then this is where you want to start putting two pillar quartz block, mangrove slab, uh, with oak sign going all the way around. These are, I think, these are what say what's hot. Like this is what it would say, like what's hot. So this is, I guess, like sales or whatever. I don't know, or you know, popular items. Uh, and then you just want to put uh, iron trap door. Oops, you want to make sure they're on the first block, not the second block. Um, all the way around, just like that. We'll put some stuff on there. Uh, you want to literally do the same thing. So you can literally just line this up. You want to make sure it's in line with the scaffolding, two blocks in front of it. Uh, and then you just make the same shelf. If you need help, you literally just look at the other one. It's pretty simple. Literally uh, very simple to make. So I'm honestly surprised I was able to fit all this in this tiny little store, but I think I did pretty well with this. But... But yeah, there you go. So those are just like some racks um, for stuff. But um, all right. So now to finish this off, uh, we're gonna need to grab um, a bell, brewing stand, grindstone, conduit, um, and then just random helmets. Uh, and then you're also gonna need item frames. And then that I think is gonna be the last of the store. Once we finish this up, that'll be it. So. We can go ahead and close this up now. So, all right. So to finish off Radio Shack, uh, you want to go ahead and put uh, item frames on all of. Well, except actually, no. You only want to do item frames on top of just one of these uh, little shelf things. Uh, go ahead and put uh, the bell, the brewing stand, and the grindstone in the window. Those are just meant to be like different gadgets and electronics. You also want to put them uh, on the uh, on these trap doors here, uh, and then a conduit just for that. You can you can maybe put something else there, but. Uh, and then in these item frames, golden helmets are meant to look like headphones. Uh, shout out to, uh, what's his name, All Fast Food Chains 94 for this idea. It was from his uh, Toys R Us tour. His, uh, he did a tour on Toys R Us. I got this idea from him. So shout out to uh, All Fast Food Chains for the headphones idea. It's pretty genius. But yeah, um, once you guys have done that, um, you can. Uh, I guess you guys can go ahead and make this carpet longer, but... Um, but yeah, that's actually it. Uh, feel free to add like paintings and stuff for advertisements. You know, you can definitely do a little more in here if you want to. But um, I think this is honestly pretty packed already. So yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it. That's how you make Radio Shack. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty quick and easy tutorial. I mean, you can easily make like numerous of these and like you can probably you can make you know this is literally really easy to make. You can make it. You know, you can make two of these in under an hour. I'm sure. Like it's super easy. Um, but, but yeah, guys, um, 
that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, also, turn on post notifications so you don't miss when an awesome tutorial like this one comes out. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the next video.